making the long awaited makeup routine for the girlies with acne. Let me fix my lashes because they look fucking crazy. I just feel like we're gonna be the bestest of friends. I can't get ready with the music. I'm sorry, YouTube. I'm sorry. First thing you gotta do, wash your hands before you do your makeup. Especially if you got acne. I know I'm just soaking the shit. But wash your hands, put hand sanitizer or something because I really like mean you have sensitive skin. Like, I have textured skin, as you guys can see. First things first, I'm gonna start with some moisturizer because to have good makeup, you need to have a good base. I use the CeraVe moisturizer. If there's a moisturizer you guys recommend for acne, put a girl on. I want to have clear skin. I honestly think I have acne because of my birth control, if I'm being completely honest with you guys. Because when I was younger, well, in high school, I never had acne. Like, literally until now. And you want to get some face oil. I use the Lime Life by Alcon Due Date with the Lime Life sunscreen. You need sunscreen, bitch. Or you're gonna get wrinkles. Look, this happened from not wearing sunscreen. So literally, I do it like that, and I mix it because the sunscreen is like it gets like weird if you don't mix it. I don't know. It's just what you have to do. Bring that shit to your neck. It's full hair. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for my it to like soak into my skin before I go in with primer. And I'm gonna start my eyebrows. The concealer that I'm going to be using today is the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. People on my TikTok always ask me, and I always say the Elf Hydro. It's the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. Okay, so I get a little bit on my hand like that. So the concealer brush that I use, it's dirty as well. It's the Morphe M224. It's what she looks like. Hemos reconozco te fallado reconciliación. Y con coraje vamos a hacer el amor. Let me call my ex. I'm gonna just call him. I'm just gonna carve out the bottom of my eyebrows. I, I didn't fill them in and I plucked them yesterday. One thing that I've noticed is that when I pluck my eyebrows, it just makes them look so much nicer. So pluck your eyebrows, bitch. Mm. So literally just carve out your eyebrows you normally would. Then you're going to do the same thing to your other eyebrow. Brush up your eyebrows though because I know you guys are used to seeing me do the stub brows. But I think I like how I look with thinner eyebrows. I honestly, one thing about me, I do my eyebrows different every single day. Like... Every time I do my makeup, I do my eyebrows different. I don't know why. And then I overplucked this pico too much, so my eyebrows are a little bit fucked up. So pretend you don't see that. And then I like to connect these lines to make sure my eyebrows look the same. I don't know if they ever are, but in my head, I think they are. So I like to let it set a little bit because I think that that's going to make it have more coverage because that's what YouTubers always said on YouTube since I was like 13 years old. So I'm going to let it set a little bit. And then I'm going to use, oh, the primer I'm going to be using today is the NYX Bear With Me Sunscreen Daily Moisturizing Primer. This is the only primer I have. This is why I'm using it. Put me on the primer you guys recommend for, like, textured skin. Then, I'm going to go in with this brush by Urban Studio. It's like a little mini kabuki brush. It doesn't have a name on it, though, so it's the little mini kabuki bush. And what I'm going to do next, I'm going to use that same concealer brush, and I'm going to carve out my eyebrows. And I'm not going to fill them in, I'm just going to carve out my natural brow. That's why I say it's easier when your eyebrows are plucked, because I feel like when you have, I don't know, it's harder to c clean them up. It's harder to clean them up when they're not plucked. What I'm gonna use to blend it out is this little powder puff. I seen a girl on TikTok do it and her makeup looked so nice. And I've been using it and I feel like my makeup has just looked so nice. Now, 
we're going to do contour. Okay, so what I use is the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I need a new one. I really want to try the... Um, Juvia's has a putty bronzer as well, and I really want to try it because their concealer is freaking bomb, and so is their foundation. So I imagine that this shit by them is bomb as fuck, too. And I try to keep my contour, like, super f up because I'm, like, super cachetona. And when it's down, I feel like it makes my face look more droopy, and I want to look more snatched, you know? <laughs> try to focus it really high. Like, literally right above my cheekbone is where I do it. Blend it, though. I But try to focus it in the same spot. Because once you drag it down, it starts dragging your face down, too. Okay, and then whatever excess, I put it on my jawline. Then do my forehead. Try to contour my nose with the same contour, different brush this brush is crispy as hell do not judge me it's the mola pro bmx 466 shading brush and i like to bring it to my eyebrow when i do my nose like and bring it to the brow okay now we're gonna do i like to like make try to make it super thin because i have a wide ass nose and i want her to look skinty and I hit a little bit under my lip to make it look bigger. We're not done yet. Then I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution Blush Balm in the shade Savage Coral. It's like this super hot pink. I put too much on that side. Oh well. My cheeks, like super high, right where like highlight usually goes. That's where I like to put my blush. Nose and chin. Do what is best for your face. Because everybody's face is different. Like, and everybody does their makeup different. Like, there's not a single person in the whole wide world that does their makeup exactly the same. Do you guys see these ojeras? Let's go back to concealer. Now that we have all my blush and contour on, I'm going to go back in with my concealer with the same brush. And I go down my nose, down the contour. And I to like do a little bit, a little wing. A little under wing. I know people say you're not supposed to conceal your whole under eye, but I don't give a fuck. Did you guys see my fucking ojeras? I need this shit, okay? I need all the coverage that I can get. I like to do under the contour to clean it up. I like to do it around my whole bottom piece of my nose because I'm super red right there. Then we're gonna go back in with our powder puff. I just feel like this blends out your makeup so smooth. And make sure everything's blended out under the eye. Okay, then we're gonna do the same thing to the other eye. And I, honestly, I have problems with like creasing under my eyes. As you guys can see, I have like really puffy eyes. And this, I don't know if it's this or the powder. But my eyes have not been creasing how they usually do. Just make sure you blend everything out. This is the key to literally good makeup. Blending your shit. Like, even if it takes forever, just blend it. Look at how snatched. You can literally see it. And there's like... Concealer just like snatches you more. Just like, like, look at that. It literally is increased. Like, that makes your makeup look so smooth. You need to, like, throw away your beauty blender and get one of these. Okay, for powder, I'm going to be using the kimchi powder. I got the giant one because it was on sale. So, what I like to blend it before I put any powder so it has, like, that smooth base. And just literally press that powder in. That so made it like instantly smooth as fuck. Like, do you see that? Okay, so what you do again? I'm gonna show you. Get the puff, get some powder, tap it on your hands. 
press it in. Press it in your face for the best results. I just put, when I'm setting my face with powder, I literally put powder everywhere. Cause I, this is, I want my face to be like super smooth. Look at that shit. Obviously you can still see my pimples. Document. I wish there was a powder that could make your pimples disappear. And you could definitely stop there. I know some of the girlies like. That's enough. It's not enough for me though. Okay? Okay. I'm gonna go in with more bronzer. Then I'm gonna go in with my hydrating complexion trio by Alomar. I'm gonna be going in with this shade, as you can see, it's my favorite. So with the with the powder contour, I want to be. I get it like literally like just the only one spot because I just want to make it like deeper, you know, some more dimension, literally like that. Just you see the difference? Look. Do you say? That's why it's important to bronze and contour. Put a little bit of my, like the corners of my forehead. Just the front of my chin. And then for my nose, I go in with this brush by Manicadar Mani Beauty. It's a shader brush, but it's like angled and fluffy. And I just do the bridge of my nose. Oh no, actually, that's a lie. I do also do my eyebrows. But for this, I just tap it in. Because I want this to like show more, you know? Then do the eyebrows. Because we want it all to connect. Look how cute I look. Alright, and I'm not even done. We're going to get our powder again. And we're gonna bake our face this time i'm not gonna tap the excess i'm just gonna go in there but as you can see when you don't tap off the excess it's a lot more powder and i have to bake right here on my smile lines because those shits crease and then my forehead and then that's it okay now it's been sitting like for a minute or two i'm just gonna tap it like right there only right there only blush brush by real techniques i'm gonna be using the ace beauty blushed in paradise and i use these two colors and then i just like Just like that. And then you can't forget the nose. But I only put the blush right there. Not on my chin. Because I don't want it to be like super pink. You know? Um, I usually let my bake sit for a while. Not gonna lie. And I've been sitting there for like five minutes. I'm just gonna... I'd like to tap the powder in. Because I don't want to wipe it off. I literally... I want to stay that white where I, where I put it. I just don't want it to look crazy. Look, that one literally like just went into my skin. I spray myself with setting spray. This setting spray is empty as fuck, but it's the NYX Bear With Me. Um, I forgot to show you guys the rest, but I just took off the makeup on my lips. I didn't, I forgot to put a highlight, but this is the look. Have a great day.